and welcome to the first episode of Youth Squad Legends with Lincoln City. If you don't know what Youth Squad Legends is, if this is the first time on the channel, let me tell you all about it. It's been a long running series and what we do is not play with any real life players. So the superstars, the legends that will come out of this series will all be generated by FIFA. We're going straight into the club transfers to modify the squad a little bit just to make sure that I don't get sacked in the first season. We're simulating the first season so we can get our youth academy together. I tell you what, instead of putting them in the free agents, we're gonna randomly select a League Two side. I'm gonna look away for a second. And it's Exeter City, Bostwick. Colchester, the final one. Crow Alexandra. We're taking a right back from Crow Alexandra shortly. We'll talk about that in more detail later on in the video. Taking away them three players should give us an achievable, a comfortable objective, so we don't need to worry about that. We can just simulate through the first season and concentrate on the youth academy. Who's gonna be the manager? Perry NG. Shush baby please. An absolute legend on this channel and we're player sponsoring him this year. I've even got a picture now. The hashtag Perry NG Barmy Army going big. So that's the manager all sorted. Perry NG is gonna take Lincoln City by storm. Next step is to actually sign him in the game. Perry NG in a shirt and tie possibly. Let's get that done. Current customized squads because all the stadiums have been named. Perry NG's bombing on me. So, what is the plan for the first episode? Well, obviously, getting through the first season ain't gonna be a quick job. We are gonna make this youth academy one of the best in England. Okay, scouts all set up. That cost me a fair amount. Nearly a million quid. We'll always have a scout around England. But the rest of the scouts are going everywhere. I want to get a player from every single country available. So what's a country that we never go to? Algeria and Venezuela. Good. Nice choices there. Perry and G, I'm coming for you. I want to make it painless. I know Crow Alexandra don't want to get rid of an asset like Perry NG and the Barmy army that surrounds him. Listen, we can consider swapping NG, but we're looking to bring in a left winger. Left midfield, Nathan Arnold. All right, how about that? Would you like to have Nathan Arnold in your side? Please say yes. That works. Okay, let's let's get it all sorted. Let's get it all wrapped up. Contract length of three years. Let's counter that and ask for four. The longer the better, really. I don't want to be messing around with Perry NG's contract. Signing bonus. Let's go down to 14,500. Submit offer. That should be it. Let's shake hands. My client would need some time to consider this offer. We'll get back to you. Bye for now. I don't want to get in the way of this. Perry NG should be signing for Lincoln City any time now. Everybody's added to the transfer list that we can put on right now. We've got a few loans around, so try and terminate them as soon as I can. But <laughs> look at our budget. There's nothing. Matt Reed's transfer talk's broken down. Jack McNamee has gone over to Ireland. We've got a transfer offer for Paul Farman. Nice one, lads. You don't understand the meaning of I don't need you at this club. You are dead wood. I want you gone. Jimmy Walker, 44, 44 years old. Jimmy Walker, he's still playing. What a guy. The first scout reports are in, making it a rule now that we're not bringing up players with the same surname. So Charles Hall and Harvey Hall, we're just going to have to decide which one would be better for us. And looking at that, probably Harvey Hall with his height and his higher potential is the way to go. Masmud Kude, goalkeeper, 6 foot 5, potential of 71 to 94. That's a name that I'm going to have to learn. Elegio Castaneda. This is ridiculous, just go away from my club. Two narrow defeats to start the season. Julian Brandt's gone to Real Madrid. Earlier on in the transfer window, Riyad Mahrez went to Tottenham. Top deals, Mertens off to Barcelona. Muller to Barcelona. And Lemar, <laughs> Lemar's gone to Leicester, are you mad? Yeah, that guy could be all right. Peter Roberts, six foot four. Potential centre-back. Now that the madness of the transfer window has settled, let's scout a future star. I'm seeing the name in the monthly report. Rui Faria. And he's potentially 71 to 89. His overall is very good. Portuguese. This is a good name. Zacharias Quiroga. His potential is 75 to 94. Two more countries. Let's go to Turkey. Hit up the Asian market. 
We'll go to Japan. Harvey Clark. He's 5 foot 11. He looks like a wing back. He's potentially 69 to 93. You know it's a bad month for League 2 when the goalkeeper gets player of the month. Jamie Phillips, potential of 77 to 94. We've got something from Japan, it's Yuko EK, and his potential is 69 to 93. I've seen some horrifying pictures of Scout Future Stars disappointing with the potential, and he looks like mine's the exact same. Turkey have three months to bring me back some kind of quality, and I got nothing. We're gonna go Turkey again. I'm sure there's something in that country. Slovenia next up on the list. The imaginary list that I'm making up in my head as we go. 62 overall. Six foot seven right back, potential of 89 to 94. I water in statistics there. It's happened! Finally, Paul Foreman has left and we've got something in our transfer budget. Marcus Rashford has joined Juventus for 44. Point four million pounds. That one sale might just be enough to keep the scouting going for the rest of the season. Whilst we're struggling to find really good players from the rest of the world, England coming back fine. Owen Cook, Isaac Robinson and Taylor Martin all through the last scout report. Finally, Turkey coming back with a decent player. It's Kamal Gursek. We'll go up into the north of Europe. We'll go Norway. Norway producing the goods immediately. Over Bernson, potential of 70 to 94. Henry Rose with the potential of 74 to 94. Oh, Charlie Green, that's another one. And yet, Slovenia still disappointing. Tell you what, Charlie Green just looks ready. 62 overall. I brought him up and he's immediately like one of the best players in the side. The table finished off like this, Lincoln City in 21st place with 42 points. Down at the bottom, Carlisle United would have got relegated in real life. Luton Town, Swindon Town and Cambridge United are all up automatically. With Exeter City, Mansfield, Not County, Coventry City all battling it out in the playoff places. Top goal scorer was a B-Ray for Cambridge United and assists rose for Mansfield Town. Here comes the last scout report of the season. Look at Norway! Bjorn Roning. Ron Roning. Monthly scouting updates. Oh, Ed Kelly. Love your hairstyle. Play alone has expired and season. We're through to the second season here. No sacking of managers. This is taking longer than it should. I've I've been listening to your comments, I know a lot of people want more Youth Academy players and less regens, so we are going to limit ourselves to the amount of players that we can sign out of this free agents list, maybe one or two from the free agents list, and then a possible third if you sign them up from a club. That sounds pretty good because it's not drowning the squad that way. Luis Sandoval looks decent, a centre attacking mid from Argentina. I I'm just going to have to take the Romanian, just he looks a little bit better than Yuzo Arano. That is a lot of money in wages. Signing bonus is massive. This guy must be a good player. My client will need some time to consider this offer. Oh. What? I was just trying to look at my scout reports and... Oh, I've got to go through the negotiations again. That is a recurring problem. Do not put your scout reports on the first of a month. Because when it moves over to a new season, this happens. I shall delegate this. Invite... I'm gonna take the £750,000 one because the difficulty is so low. There's a possibility that we could reach the final. Players have left the club which has freed up loads of wages. The transfer budget is £2.71 million. Pounds. Well, I should do that more often, really. Louis Sandoval's just accepted a wage of 5200 And then it's 1200 for Ronnie Latovlevici. Sandoval is 67 overall. And he's got that three-star, three-star, I like that. High attacking work rate, low defensive. Players are getting sold now. Alex Woodyard is off to Charlton Athletic. We've got a transfer offer for Josh Vickers. Can I just tell you the reason 
why every single transfer offer the talks were breaking down because I didn't have enough players in my squad. Now that is basic career mode knowledge just flying straight over my head. It's nice to know that we're already suffering some catastrophic injuries. I love that. Isaac Robertson, thanks for the chance to play boss. Now I need to rest up my ankle. Josh Vickers has gone to Barnet. Matt Green off to Shrewsbury. No, you cannot go away. Do not touch Perry NG. Mmm. Carl Arvidsson, 69.93, nothing in Italy. I think it's this scout. This scout is bringing me back nothing. I'll give him the next two months to redeem himself, but if he doesn't bring me back quality, he's out the door. Give it up for the backup goalkeeper for Carlisle United. Hornby Forbes is a 37 overall. All that's left for me to do is introduce you all to the Lincoln City side. We're at Brunton Park for this game against Carlisle. Apparently we had Palmer in the starting lineup, so I've had to change that immediately. Sandoval goes up top. Sandoval back heel. Here's Green, chip up. Oh, going for the volley! I mean, that would have been a great start to the series, wouldn't it? Get creative with the chance. Put them in the comment section. I'll be singing the best ones. Don't forget to add the song in your comment as well so I know how to sing the chant. I want to see them masterpieces flow. Miller's very quick and very agile. And my centre bikes are not liking it so far. Oh, Sullivan. Oh, he's got to do more with it. Oh, Sandoval! Oh. Well, that's half time. I don't know really what to say about my team. They are looking bang average for League 2, maybe. That's probably the most complimentary thing that I can say right now. They really do feel like a group of strangers. Devitt is flying through. Come on, keeper. Oh, Kude! Well done. Well, that's full time. Really, really bad performance there by Lincoln. Kude, the goalkeeper, was excellent. Everybody else needs to improve. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this first episode of Youth Squad Legends with Lincoln City. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed yet, then go ahead and subscribe. Press the bell to be a part of the notification squad. I'll see you next time.